thing is, I, 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 my, the, the genuine issue I feel is I, I think that, that Riot's decision making in a lot of aspects are very short term driven. I think that the competitive side of the game is really, really good. Really good. Okay. The balancing, the, the, the game as a competitive game, I think is fantastic. Really good game. I, I have to make that clear. Even the messaging, okay? The messaging around MSI changes, world changes was very good. They made things very clear. They gave good reasoning and they allowed themselves room to potentially change it in the future. This, this messaging, the video was all very well done. Very, very well done. But that part cannot carry the game alone. We were very fortunate to have a perfect world championship in North America. It was a perfect world championship. That it, and, and the thing is, perfect things rarely happen. They almost never happen. The, us having a story of that DRX had is just not going to happen. Like the odds of that happening is so slim. I'm telling you guys, it's so slim. In the current day and age when the game becomes more and more figured out because very few changes are happening, the odds of the underdog winning is so slim. So they expect this competitive beauty that they build up to carry other aspects of the game. But there's a lot of casuals, the majority of casuals that don't give a shit about it. You need to give people more reasons to play the game and more ways to play the game. You have to. You have to. Why did World of Warcraft at its peak have so many different players? Because you could play the game in so many different ways. It catered to many different type of players many different type of players and i've seen games that are hyper focused on the competitive side die even though in my opinion it was the beauty the, the one of the like beautiful games it's like bloodline champions was one of those games it was so hyper focused on the competitive game they wanted to make sure that the competitive game is the only thing that matters and they put all the resources into it because they want to create a battlefield of true skill expression but because Players didn't give a shit about the game. The casual player didn't give a shit about the game. Bro, for example, World of Warcraft, right? I give this as an example. Because uh, back in the days, you could raid. There's people that did uh, uh, crafting. Uh, there was people that just did daily quests and farmed reputations, farmed mounts, farmed pets, fishing. There's so many different ways to play the game. It's like, uh, the best example was in, in my family, my mother played World of, plays World of Warcraft. My brother played World of Warcraft. I played World of Warcraft. So I played World of Warcraft. What I li loved doing vanilla was that I loved doing World PvP. So I, I went to areas where people were lower level than me, and I just ganked them with my dwarf warrior called Hippopotamus in Swedish, Flutehest. And then my mother, she would just farm reputations. She would be in winter, spring, uh, like gathering room cloth and, and getting information for uh, the, the winter uh, winter... Those, those tigers, the reputation there that you can have access to. And my brother would do raiding. And we, we would all enjoy the game, but in our own way. 